Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Last time, <clears throat> we had arrived in the medical sector. We are looking for Grassi and his keycard to the crew sector, but before we do that... I feel a distinctly OCD urge to go do something about those turrets I left alive. I'm sorry if that seems extra silly to all of you. It kind of does to me too, but... mainly interested in seeing if I can Well, I can hit that one with a side arrow. This one, I think I might be able to wrench. I get nothing particularly helpful out of destroying them, but that's okay. I've realized I have no real use for the strength booster. Keep everything else. <clears throat> Narrowing detection window. Now the game's running a little bit slow. I don't know why it's locked at 20 FPS. It wasn't last night. Let me see if I can fix that right quick. I feel much better now that the science sector is actually clear behind me. There we go. No idea what the issue was, but... Good. You've managed to get into Med. Now find Grassi and get the keycard to the crew sector. He's the one who monitored your cryo sleep, so he might be interested in joining you. If he hasn't been butchered yet. Alright. That email is titled, uh... Polito, July 12th, 2114. Regarding Watts's access card. We've added another new objective. After get a crew card from Grassi, he's near biopsy and medical. We have find Dr. Watts's room in the crew sector. 
then get the maintenance access shaft code from Dr. Watts and get to deck four to meet Dr. Polito. Okay. Access cards. The many things to us. Doors may require keycard access to open, in which case they will have a card slot by them. Any keycard that you pick up will contain a particular set of permissions, distinct for that type of keycard. In order to see what keycard accesses you have, look in your lower right info bar and click on the keycard icon. If you try to use a keycard slot and you have the relevant access, then you will automatically use the correct keycard. If you do not have the relevant access, you will see a message telling you what is required. Pretty straightforward. Let's go straight. Something. Wrenchtastic. He's got nothing. Intruder entering medical sector A. Intruder, the many demands to know your intentions. Are you allied with her? Do you not know of her intentions, of her history? She once tried to destroy your species, and now you do her bidding. Intruder entering medical sector A. I'm gonna hop over this ledge and pick up those nanites. Ten nanites, yahoo. I can't search their corpses, even though they do highlight. And here we have an audio log, Watts, June 30th, 2114, and a version 1 research soft, which is redundant. Watts, regarding nonsense. Angela, while it may appear that the lab monkeys are communicating with each other, I assure you it's quite impossible. You claim that one monkey signed the passcode for a supply closet to another, and the latter proceeded to open it. As I'm sure you know, there have literally been tens of thousands of studies of primate intelligence, and there's no evidence of behavior even remotely that sophisticated. So either you've single-handedly trumped the entire field of animal behaviorists, or you're badly in need of a vacation. And on the ground, you'll notice a surgical unit activation key. These things are awesome. They turn incomplete surgical units on and let us spend five nanites to fully heal whenever we want to. We could use it on this one right here, but that'd be pointless. There's already a complete surgical unit on this level a little farther away. Let's keep going. That monkey corpse has nothing on it. And in fact, there's nothing else up here at all. Now if I remember right, there's a turret down there. So we'll want to break the glass to get into this room. Two cyber modules and a spare Psyamp on that corpse. My total modules are up to seven. I still can't afford any upgrades. We got two monkeys we need to wrench down. I kept missing. That one had nothing. Let's go bag the other one. Ouch. How 
All right. We've got those two handled. We can search the rest of this room. There's a complete surgical unit. Uh, before I mess with that, search the desk, find a sci hi bow. On the desk is another audio log. Curtis, July 7th, 2114. Regarding, lifts are out. I can't raise anybody down in engineering. With the lifts out, I'll need to get down there through the emergency conduit in the Psi Annex. I think the access code is in Watts' lab. Let's search these crates. We find a med hypo. Another med hypo. That monkey corpse has nothing. Here is an information kiosk. Surgical units. Most surgical units are used for on board are used for diagnostic purposes. However, if you attach a surgical unit activation key to one, it may be used to heal you of all damage. Be aware that these keys are not easy to locate. Now let's deal with the other turret. should be able to do if I let it take one shot. And there's nothing. Let's head back upstairs and head down this hallway instead. Another information kiosk. Overloading Psy. When you use a psionic discipline, you can run you can do one of three things. You can use it at normal power, you can overload and use it at a more powerful level, or you can burn out. Overloading will use the discipline as if you had a size stat too higher than you actually do, but takes more time to use than the normal level and risks burnout. If you want to use the discipline at normal power, you can just quickly left click. If you want to overload using more power, hold down the left button until the bar in the middle of the screen reaches the red box and turns red, and then release. Make sure that you don't hold down the left button until it hits the right edge. This will cause you to burn out, taking damage and having no effect. Alright, inside here we've got another fully active surgical unit. We've got this section's resurrection station. I should examine the surgical unit activation key. Haven't done that yet. The standard surgical unit is useful for diagnostic procedures under the control of a trained physician. This activation key, when attached to a surgical unit, will allow it to perform healing procedures automatically. A fierce battle with the medical lobbyist groups has resulted in a compromise in which the nanite-driven activation keys may not be installed by the vendor on a surgical unit, but may be stocked separately for customers to install in case of emergency, and the installation is not difficult. However, once the two are connected, a factory technician is required to disconnect the two. Let's search this desk, find 17 nanites. You might witness some strange phenomena. Your R-grade cyber rig has an experimental perception enhancement that can theoretically detect residual psychic emanations. These emanations traditionally come from the recently dead. Literature might call them ghosts. I call them self-hypnotic defects in the R-grade unit. Don't let it distract you from the job at hand. That email. Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding ghosts. If we head in here... Nothing but a hybrid.
I guess there's a camera out there, too. The hybrid has a can of cola. Soda can. Invented in the early part of the 20th century, so... Alright, that monkey has seen me. Which is fine. Alright. Invented in the early part of the 20th century, soda was created as a refreshing beverage, a mixture of carbonated water and corn syrup. For such a trivial-seeming product, soda and similar beverages fueled the rise of the first two megacorporations, the names of which are illegal to publish by UNN Information Ordinance number 234-FD34. Net rumors suggest that these two corporations' marketing skirmishes turned into physical ones, promulgated by the destruction of offshore bottling plants by hired mercenary squads in 2023. Let's destroy the camera, too. Now we can search this room in peace, hopefully. The body's got a med hypo. Nothing on the shelves. This is just a security crate. Hack skill 2 required. Here's another information kiosk. Radiation. Some areas are dangerous due to radiation. When you enter an area that is radiated, you will hear a warning. A radiation bar will appear on your screen, which fills up at a speed dependent on the radiation level in the area. Every so often, you will take damage based on the amount in your radiation bar, which can be decreased by rad hypos. Let's turn right first. Run. Where'd everybody go? This is some kind of joke. Hello. I hate the fucking monkeys. There's one. So close. It's important not to get tagged. Nothing. Alright, let's search this... This room. The body has seven nanites. On the ground, there's a bottle of bubbly. Champagne bottle picked up. Champagne is a popular drink enjoyed on the Von Braun and smuggled onto the Rickenbacker, both in its lounges and replicators. However, since the entire liquor concession is run by Triop and all champagne is replicated from the same nanite archetype due to limited database storage, there is only a single brand available. Fortunately, the vintage is excellent. We got a potted plant over there, and another audio log over here. Grassi, May 12th, 2114. Regarding damn chimps. Whose idea was it to bring 150 chimpanzees on board anyway? The interest of science? What about the interest of hygiene? Does anybody have any idea how much crap 150 lab monkeys make in a day? The poor chimps. They come on board for the most historic mission of all time, and they end up being chopped into little pieces in the name of progress. We can break that window and hop in there, but... <clears throat> We've got a decontamination shower here, which will instantly get rid of all of our radiation. Radiation hazard. 
two cyber modules, a rad hypo, 26 nanites, an audio log, and a rad hypo. Alright, the audio log is Curtis, July 2nd, 2114, regarding rad hypos. Medical tells me they've replicated a whole bunch of rad hypos. I'm gonna pick those up and distribute them to the engineering staff unless anyone gets a better idea. Watts also asked me to check on the replicator in the crew lounge. He says it's a hacker's paradise. Alright, let's use a med hypo to heal my lost health. Or ten points of it, anyway. And with the modules from there, I'm able to afford an upgrade, so I'm gonna sprint back and get one. Alright, tier 2 Psi powers, still what I'm getting. Let's get Cerebro Generated Stimulated Regeneration. Amount healed, 2 hit points per Psi. So with my Psi at 3, that regeneration will give me 6 hit points. Pretty good. There's one other tier two power that I want. I need a uh, neural decontamination. So that's the next upgrade I'll get. And again, it costs eight modules. I'm down to one. So it may be a while. That's fine. First, let's lure the monkey out of here. Security control station. Hack skill one required. Come on, bro. About to say come at me. I was gonna say come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. There we go. All right. Let's check things out in here. got a corpse with nothing. Over here we just have a potted plant, a security crate, and an audio log. Come on. Come on! One hit from behind ought to help me more.
There we go. Alright, I'm missing five health, which is not worth using anything. The most basic idea is not to waste any resources. He's got nothing either. Alright, let's head this direction. This is Xerxes. Why do you persist in your loneliness? Something out of place. Your slash Damn. Shotgun hybrids. This is Xerxes. Why do you persist in your loneliness? The harmony is disturbed. Song is Alright, medical hypo, jammed shotgun, jammed shotgun. And see, here's the repair interface. Repair skill 3 required. That's all fine and dandy. Let's head down this hallway and look, yet another information kiosk. Armor. Armor can help you both in protection from damage and protection from environmental effects. Combat armor comes in three varieties, light, medium, and heavy, with increasing amounts of strength required to equip heavier armor. Additional armor includes hazard suits, which provide protection against toxins and radiation, and powered armor, which is particularly defensive but requires power. Let's head in here. Look at the body. He's got a suit of light combat armor, which I can equip. Plus 20 defense. Why not? Version 1 research software, redundant, not installed. Inside the crate is a precious, precious psi hypo. And finally, down at the end of the hallway, we see a turret. Use a psi hypo. We got nothing there. Here's the biopsy lab. What is a thought compared to a mind? Our unity is full of wonder. Is full of wonder which, which your tiny individualism cannot even conceive. Inside the desk, we've got a med hypo. We go through this door. We're on the other side of that window we've seen before. Let's go up first. We've got a security crate. Hack skill 2 required. Two normal crates. A Psy Hypo and 20 nanites. Let's head down the ladder. Search the body. Good work. I'm uploading some cybernetic modules. Find and upgrade unit as soon as you can and improve your rig. 
Deck 2 crew quarters access card found. So we've got a crew card from Grassi near biopsy and medical, so now we need to find Dr. Watts' room in the crew sector. Down here we've also got a med hypo. Those five modules brought my total to six, insufficient for any upgrades. Here we have an audio log, Watts, July 7th, 2114, regarding patient Watts- oh, I almost forgot. And Watts, July 1st, 2114, regarding patient Watson. This is the one from the ICU. Since returning from the surface of Tau Ceti 5, the patient has experienced numerous novel phenomena, evidenced by inflammatory nodular growth and the presence of a large, worm-like parasite. This morning, the parasite penetrated the subject's chest from the inside and attached one end of itself to the subject's forehead. If I remove it, it could kill the kid. If I leave it... Final diagnosis beats the hell out of me. I'd love to refer this to Midorsky at CDC, but unfortunately he's 67 trillion miles away. And then Watts, July 7th, 2114, regarding Patient Watson, Part 2. Patient Watson died at 0240 of non-specific causes. Despite zero respiratory and brain function, the body is still displaying autonomous motor function, as does the parasite. At 0847, the patient even spoke to one of the nurses. Autopsy is set for 1630, and then we'll see what makes this Lazarus tick. Alright. Let's head over to the crew sector now. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. Into the crew quarters. Good. You've made it into the crew sector. Now find Dr. Watts' room. New email. Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding keycard to R&D. Five nanites. There's another hybrid. Something. Not carrying anything. A multi picture. Another one. In here we have six standard bullets, a magazine, let's query the magazine, a high color journal covering the artificial personality circuit, feature articles discuss synthetic talk shows, aggregate personalities developed as corporate spokesmen, and low budget personality tailoring that can be done at home. Desk, an audio log, Karenchkin, June 14th, 2114. Regarding first contact. We have picked up a transmission from the surface of Tau City 5. I've been in negotiation with Captain Diego of the Rickenbacker, and after some coercion, he's agreed to go planetside as a joint venture. Imagine, this historic mission might even become more historic. First contact. And who is there to get exclusive rights to all media, patents, and land grants? Try optimum. Miri, I told you this would be worth it to Vladimir Zhukov. Let's 
search this room on the right. Bag of chips, bag of chips, bottle of liquor, bottle of very strong vodka, bottle of very strong vodka, can of soda. Items dropped. Out of inventory space. All right, well, let's head to the main elevator and offload some of my junk. I hope it doesn't. <clears throat> hope it doesn't vaporize my shotguns again like it did the first one. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it does, but I still hope it doesn't. All right, let's get back to looting this room. Soda, 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 soda. Liquor, potted plant. In. Let's check the replicator. Hi there. Please make your selection. Hack skill 3 required. This one sells cigarettes for 10 nanites, fragmentation grenade clip, 3 grenades for 200 nanites, psi hypo for 150, rifled slugs, 6 of them for 160. Now over here behind the bar is a TC-11 grenade launcher. Poor, 2, broken. Repair skill 2 required. Let's look at it. The grenade launcher requires a heavy weapon skill of 1 in order to use. The first modification to this weapon increases the clip size, while the second increases the speed of the grenades and reduces the reload time. Additionally, both modifications increase weapon damage. The TC-11 brick can launch a wide variety of ordnance. From standard high explosive to proximity detection rounds, EMP, or white phosphorus incendiary, creative souls have been known to jury rig other types of ammo. Unlike the earlier generations of launchers, the TC-11 utilizes a reverse polarization magnetic launching mechanism instead of compressed gas. Sounds fancy. Can't... Can't get directly into that room, I'll have to go around. Broken multi-picture. A desk with a box of six rifled slugs. And there's nothing actually in this room anyway. Well, let's keep going forward. Another information kiosk. OS upgrades. OS upgrades are special bonuses to your abilities in a very specific area. Special OS upgrade unit devices will allow you to, to acquire OS upgrades, which can enhance many specific aspects of your cyber rig, such as your metabolism, your ability at various modes of combat, or even grant you the ability to have two implants simultaneously. Be careful in considering which one to get. Each OS upgrade unit will only work once per person, and they are few and far between. In fact, you get a total of four. And here's our first one. We're going to take Lethal Weapon. Increases all hand-to-hand -hand damage by 35%. It will make our wrenching dramatically more effective, which matters a lot on Impossible. Now here's a keypad. We don't have the code, and we can't hack. Sub-armory code required. An audio log. Turnbull, July 7th, 2114. Regarding procedures. Security system. Goddamn Bronson and her stupid procedures. She's changed the code on the MedSci 2 sub-armory again. Now I've got to head back up to Deck 4 to find out what it is. Somebody's gonna frag her, but good someday. Well, there's nothing else in here. 
That's another, this is another bulkhead back to the science sector. Let's check out this lounge. There's a Psy upgrade unit here and a Stats upgrade unit here. Two potted plants, two bottles of champagne, a bottle of juice, a bottle of very strong vodka, a magazine, and cigarettes. I think it's a different magazine. This magazine, very popular among protocol droids and their programmers, is an eclectic combination of technical information and interior design. Some articles are written wholly in byte-compiled code format, easily readable by droids, but many human programmers consider it a mark of competence to be able to read those articles without software assistance. And the cigarettes. Every box of the Tobacco Conglomerate's new Philo Filter Tip cigarettes comes with three optional, experience-enhancing additives available at the touch of a button. The Mintomatic button infuses your smoke with a menthol eucalyptus mint blend. The Kicker button adds a flavor-rich double dose of tar, nicotine, and carbon compounds. The Self-Cleaning coats your cigarette with a layer of smoke-depositing nanotech. As my testimony indicated the last time I stood before this committee, there is still no clear evidence that cigarette smoking is proven to be harmful to the health of the youth smoker. Jack M. Sutton, Chief Executive Officer, Uplift Tobacco, September 3rd, 2112. Let's head oh, out here. We've got two more champagne bottles. Items dropped. And there's a potted plant. I'm out of inventory space. little lag hiccup tried very hard to kill me, but it didn't work. It keeps vaporizing the shotguns I leave out here. And only the shotguns. But Still, I don't know why that is. Should have unloaded them at least. <clears throat> when we finally do get the recycler, all of that stuff is going to turn into a lot of nanites. Oh, come on, I need you to get that potted plant. Homie? There you go. Alright, up here we find the weapons and tech upgrade stations, and an information kiosk. Nanites. Nanites are the coin of the realm on board. Nanites are used for both purchasing items from the replicator and in almost all technical tasks. If you have no nanites, you may not hack, repair, or modify. This replicator... Hi there. Please make your selection. Hack skill 3 required. We can get a bottle of juice for 8 nanites, a disposable maintenance tool for 120, version 1 hacking software for 70, and a rad hypo for 70. There's nothing else up here cleared it out down here, so let's keep going. Security forces have been alerted to your presence, intruder. The glory of the many demands your capture or destruction. Is there a Pipe hybrid. Still got nothing in here. I've got one, two, three bags of chips. Nothing in that crate. Nothing in that crate. Let's 
keep going upstairs first. Got a force field here. Hack skill one required. Security crate. Hack skill two required. Desk with three proximity grenades. I should take a look at those. The Radius 4 proximity grenade utilizes no fewer than six separate methods of detection, from IR signature to EM field sampling to volumetric air displacement, in order to make sure that it explodes with pinpoint accuracy and in the close vicinity of your enemies. Be sure to purchase our Radius Exclusion Emitter coming soon in order to make sure that your grenades exclude you and your squad mates from detonation. Try Optimum Advertising copy. Let's keep going. There's a camera there, which it looks like I'll probably have to shoot down. It, it appears to be out of wrenching range. Usually, if you close to point-blank range like that, then they spend their time backing away from you instead of shooting. There we go. Let's take his shotgun and unload it. Let's search this corpse. There's nothing. Look through the multi-picture. And here's a magazine. Let's query it. A wildly speculative, low-budget magazine which covers subjects from Are They Among Us to pros and cons of silicate genetics. The only things more amusing than the articles are the letters to the editor published at the front. A ceramic mug with the Trioptimum logo. The VacuSol insulated mug keeps hot beverages hot and cold beverages cold, up to three years at a shot. The semi-permeable force field over the rim prevents heat transfer, as well as keeps the liquid inside in case of a spill. Cigarettes. An empty desk. A potted plant. And another nice little multi-picture. Let's... Keep going. You see a pistol over there. I'm gonna pull it to me. Well, I thought I was. There we go. Let's unload it. And now let's search this room. Nothing inside the trash can. Two potted plants. A pile of disgusting worms. We need to remember where they are because those things come in handy later. We shouldn't do anything to them now. This is Xerxes. Remember, replicator restrictions are in place for the good of all of us. All unauthorized database interactions will be dealt with to the utmost degree of the law. I'm gonna pull that container of nanites to me, and then I'm gonna declare the top level cleared out, and go the same direction in the bottom level, starting at this end and moving down. So let's search this body. He's got six standard pistol bullets. Here's another information kiosk. Implants. 
You may have a single supplemental implant installed into your cybernetic rig at any time. These add-ons enhance your skills and abilities. Most implants require power and become non-functional once drained. You may recharge all of your implants at a recharge station. You may have two implants if you have the cybernetically enhanced OS upgrade. Let's head in here now. There's another potted plant. And inside the desk is another Psyamp, but I've run up on my inventory ceiling again, so let's go drop off some junk. I know this must seem horribly tedious, but we will be glad and we did this in the end game. Your death. I remember I did forget to query the fragmentation grenades. There's another pipe hybrid. Okay, hopefully we have a small reprieve now. Let's query the frag grenades before I forget again. A standard fragmentation grenade damages a combination of the concussive effects of the explosion and the resultant pieces of shrapnel. All right, let's just start dropping stuff. Now let's head back. All right, now we can pick up that spare Psy amp. And let's move in here. Sometimes there are things hidden in the multi-pictures, that's why I check them all. Nothing up there, but here's an audio log. Suarez, June 20th, 2114. Regarding 100% torture. Wow, you're incredible. Do you know that? I made this game where I tried not to make myself think about you. What a moron. I love you, Rebecca, and I've got the plan. I've been buttering up the captain to transfer me from the Rickenbacker to the Goodwill team on the Von Braun. Pretty soon, nothing will keep us apart. To Rebecca Siddons. Let's keep moving now. In this next room, we find a potted plant, a Psy Hypo, and another audio log. Polito, June 25th, 2114. Regarding strange AI. Marie, I'm sorry I've been out of touch, but I've been working on that artifact Bayless brought back from Tau City 5. I've done a level 3 analysis on it. I think it's some kind of artificial intelligence. I've managed to pull an audio tag file out of its memory. I'll let you be the judge. To Dr. Marie Delacroix. Here is a brawn boost implant. Raises your strength by one as long as you have it equipped. I'll put it in for now. Why not? Extra inventory space, extra wrench damage. In the next room, we find a corpse with 10 nanites and another potted plant. Here's Dr. James R. Watts. So we'll explore the other room first. Turn on the light switch. 
There's a bag of chips on the floor. On the bottom level, there's an empty crate. If we climb the ladder... <clears throat> We can jump over there, I think. Or we can just hop up and pick up the container of 20 nanites. And I know I should be able to hop into that area. Where we find a corpse with four cyber modules on it. Brings my total up to 10. I can afford an upgrade. And a shotgun in fair condition. Four. First one we found that wasn't broken. Oh, I have 10 modules, which is enough for an upgrade. So let's run. Let's run to the crew lounge and do that right quick. And then all that's left is Dr. Watts' room. Here's the Psy station. Let's get neural decontamination. Shields me from 80% of radiation damage. Not bad, not bad. Alright, what do I want next? That's all the tier 2 Psy I want. So, unlocking tier 3 takes 53 modules. That's not the cheapest available. I do want to raise Endurance, that only takes 14. I want to raise Psy, that takes 26. I want to raise Agility, that only takes 14. We go upstairs, I know I don't need any weapon upgrades. I do want to raise Research, that'll take 17, so... I'll probably boost my Endurance when I hit 14 modules, that'll be my next purchase. Right now I have two. Watts isn't here, so he's probably in his office in the R&D sector. Maybe he's got a backup R&D card in here. Take a look around. Nothing in here except the desk. That email. Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding R&D card. On the desk, we have an MFD game player and a research and development access card. So the R&D sector... Good work. I'm uploading some cybernetic modules. Find an upgrade unit as soon as you can and improve your rig. Alright, that brought me up to seven, which is awesome, but insufficient for an upgrade. Oh yeah, let's look at our let's look at our notes in the PDA. We found a Dr. Watts' room in the crew sector. We have added Look for Dr. Watts in his office in R&D, which is back through the bulkhead to the science sector. So let's head there. Let's leave all my junk here. Might as well hit the recharger to keep my brawn boost going. R&D is down here. We'll unload his jammed shotgun. And move forward. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. 
she gave me four modules for getting into the R&D sector. That brings my total to 11. Nothing else has changed. Let's bum rush that camera. make sure I didn't inadvertently miss something. Alright, let's look at my map. I haven't done that in a while. We'll hang a left first. That just takes me to a little side area, which I could see but couldn't get into before. Corpse with nothing on it. Fair enough. Dr. Watts is alive and in his office. He should know the code to the maintenance access shaft. Hurry! He's been badly wounded. Don't let him die before he tells you that number. Alright, that email. Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding find a Dr. Watts. Pretty straightforward. Empty crate, corpse with nothing, bottle of juice, corpse with a speed booster. Let's head through this door. <clears throat> Desk, the nothing. Here we have a corpse with a disposable maintenance tool. Here's another recharger. Crate with six anti-personnel shotgun shells. That we haven't seen before. These explosive pellets combine a chemical incendiary with a cluster of self-converting nanites to pack an extra kick. Not many organic targets can stand up to these for long. They are best used at relatively short range as the pellets tend to spread. That desk has nothing. Over here we have an audio log. Diego, March 17th, 2114. Regarding yanking my chain. Anatoly, there's only so much corporate calisthenics I can go through before I start to feel a little queasy, so let's get down to brass tacks here. We don't like each other. We each have our own motivations for undertaking this mission, so let me give you a little warning. I cannot be circumvented. I cannot be tricked. I cannot be manipulated. And I cannot be bought. You come at me straight, Keep the fancy maneuvers for your next board meeting. Just because my father swam with the sharks doesn't mean that I do. That was to Anatoly Karenchkin. Let's keep moving forward. Where this is just the top level of the room we were just in. The body has a shotgun on it in average condition. Six. There's another camera around that corner. I just picked up a box of six standard bullets. We'll wait on the camera to... Well, I was gonna say we'll wait on, wait on the camera to go green again and then bum rush it. Nail it with the wrench. And here's Dr. Watts' office. All eyes are open. There's nothing here on the top level. There's a pipe hybrid down there. He's got nothing. Over here we've got a pistol in terrible condition. Corpse has six armor-piercing bullets on it. Let's head over here. We find a med hypo. There's a complete surgical unit. They're not dead. They want you, you understand? They want you as a host. Get away. Right, 
he's got two logs on him, but two shotgun hybrids have come into the room. Which are gonna be kinda tough for me to deal with. Without getting without getting hit anyway. And as long as they're up there, we can listen to his two logs. We'll pick them both up. We have Watts, July 7th, 2114, regarding Watson autopsy. The time is 16.30. Autopsy subject A. Watson. Now we're going to make the first incision in... Hold him down. I'm yes. trying to... And the other one is Watts, July 7th, 2114, regarding maintenance conduit. All right, calm down already. The access code to the conduit is 12451. I've got an autopsy at 1630, but let's grab a beer on the recreation deck afterwards. Sound good? That was to Juan Curtis. All right, now I gotta deal with these guys. I'd still rather not get shot if I can manage it. I'm sorry. I'm not quite sure how that might be managed. We do not welcome you. Damn it. If I could just close the distance a little faster. Or get him to turn around or something. I'm so he's not sorry. facing the elevator. I'd like him to not face the elevator. Quiet. Thief style. Damn it. his buddy. He's got the usual broken shotgun. I really feel like I ought to be able to do this. Come on! Good, got him, finally. Alright, let's unload both of those shotguns. And let's head back out. There's an audio log here I've missed this whole time. It's Delacroix. Oh shit. Med hypo and another broken shotgun. 
Anyway, the log. Delacroix, July 8th, 2114. Regarding not ready. These missions should have been scrubbed before it left Earth. We've been unable to contain the reactant coolant leaks on Deck 1. I've put an order requiring hazard suits down there. I know you think this would cause a panic, but it's better than giving everybody radiation sickness, don't you think? Let's keep going. Now that we have the code, the maintenance bot has usually made it out. Usually, if you... Of course, there's another shotgun hybrid behind it who's hearing me beat on it. usually possible to to kill these things because you can keep them backing away from you like that Fucking respawned hybrid. It's the last fucking thing I needed. Wasn't gonna work either. I'd like, I'd just like to manage that without getting cheap shotted. Good. Damn it, there's another hybrid. With a shotgun. All right. All right, well, we can finish the robot now. Now we just have another fucking spawned hybrid to kill.
The respawn rate is really making me angry. Oh, that one had a med hypo. That's good. Come on, dude. <laughs> Maintenance bot has nothing. Both hybrids have their usual broken shotguns. I'm gonna empty out all my junk. I'm gonna pick up their shotguns. Well, one of them has disappeared. All right. Now we have the code. It's one, two, four, five, one. Six cyber modules received. That's enough for an upgrade. I'm gonna go to my stats. I'm gonna raise my endurance to three. I also want to raise my agility, so that'll be my next purchase. It's Another one that only costs 14 modules. There's a hybrid somewhere. Shotgun, of course. Can't just be a pipe, that'd be too simple. It can't just spawn in pipe hybrids for me to kill. Anyway. Do not waste time patting yourself on the back. Get down to that shaft to engineering and reset the primary reactor core. That will restore power to the elevator and you'll be able to get up to deck four. Get going. All right. That email was... Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding access to Deck 1. Let's search the body here. He's got a disposable maintenance tool. And apart from that, we can head down the shaft. And here we have arrived on Deck 1, Engineering. I'm gonna make... a new main save. A new quick save. And I'm going to call that, the end of Deck 2, a video. This has been Let's Play System Shock 2. Next time, we will start moving to reset, to the, reset the reactor core. Let's see what our notes have to say. We got look for Dr. Watts at his office in R&D. We got get the maintenance access shaft code from Dr. Watts. We cleared the code for the maintenance access shaft as 12451. So we're back to get to Deck 4 to meet Dr. Polito. That's it for now, so I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.